2018 Kia Soul F review. The 2018 Kia Soul F scores at the top of style, features and space, however, not so much on range. If you are current or potential F buyer, it's almost guaranteed that getting a lot of electric range is significant. Nobody desires to suffer from range anxiety, each extra mile a car can eke out represents another mile you'll be able to go without burning gasoline within your second car, taking public transit or getting an urgent situation recharge. Well, the 2018 Kia Soul F could go a few extra miles in 2010 with the debut of the more energy-rich battery, bringing by using it a new maximum of 111 miles. That's up from 93 miles. That's excellent news for the range air conscious, nevertheless it falls somewhat short of the plethora of other Fs such as VW e-Golf plus the high-end Ionic Electric. And, a lot like every other if not named Tesla, the Soul has not even half of a Chevrolet Boax estimated 238 miles of all electric range. For many, that will make their F choice obvious. Still, should you be considering to stay inside the city confines, own another car, or in simple terms don't thinking about going very far, the Kia Soul F comes with a lot to love. For starters, it arguably is a great deal more character and design than the Bolt and the majority of their Fs. Like the gasoline Kia Soul on which it's based, it possesses a handsome quirky exterior, a classy cabin and also a body style that's pretty reminiscent of the small SUV. It's certainly a convincing crossover substitute compared to the Bolt. You also get lots of passenger and cargo space, along with an abundance of features for the investment. Basically, precisely the same things that make regular souls so appealing also affect the EV, and when range isn't everything, we presume it's definitely worth a peek. Notably, we pick the 2018 Kia Soul F as one of best electric cars for this coming year. What's new? For 2018, the Soul F gets a far more energy-rich battery power, increasing its consist of 93 miles to 111 miles. Get by far the most basic and lowest price Kia Soul F it is possible to. Given its range deficit compared to the Chevrolet Bolt. You may as well take the maximum amount of advantage in the soul's considerably cheap point. Plus, it is not like a base soul can be a stripper model, you get a heated tire and seats, satellite radio and, together with the base F versus the California Eve, an 8-inch touchscreen which includes a variety of other tech goodies. Trim levels and features The 2018 Kia Soul F is, because the name suggests, the Al Electric version from the Soul. Though not marketed consequently, that car is comparable in size and the concept to subcompact SUVs. So maybe the EV. There are three trim levels, EVE, the Beds Base F and EV++. All have generous standard equipment, however the top trim's luxurious extras could possibly be worth the extra bucks. All use exactly the same 30 kWh lithium ion polymer battery power and 375 volt electric motor which causes 109 horsepower and 210 pound feet of torque. The EVE is sold only in California. It comes standard having a DC fast charging port, 16 inch alloy wheels, automatic headlights, LED running lights, heated mirror, rear privacy glass. Keyless ignition and entry, automatic climate control, a pedestrian warning system, multiple steering modes normal, comfort and sport, a height adjustable driver seat, tow level heated front seats, cloth upholstery, a heated leather apt controls, a 6040 split folding back seat, a rear view camera, Bluetooth, one new SP port, as well as a six speaker sound system having a five inch color display a media player interface, an auxiliary audio jack and satellite radio. The base F could be the starting point for all those soul F purrs outside California. It adds better looking 16-inch wheels, mirror turn signal indicators, 
HD radio along with an 8-inch touchscreen interface that brings by using it integrated navigation, 3G Wi-Fi and UVO Eco services, including an app that lets you monitor your vehicle's charge, look for a charging station, lock and unlock doors, and adjust the in-car climate before leaving. The F++ adds back and front parking sensors, fog lights, power folding mirrors, a fork sleeve a trim dash, an auto dimming rear view mirror, a cargo cover, three level heated and ventilated front seats, heated outboard rear seats and leather upholstery. Exclusive to the plus could be the sun and fun package, which adds a panoramic sunroof, LED interior lighting and speaker lights. A battery heating method is also available in Oregon, Washington and eastern states that sell the Solev. Trim tested. Each vehicle typically can be purchased in multiple versions that happen to be fundamentally similar. The S on its review depend on our full test of the 2015 Kia Solev++. Note, since this test was conducted, the latest Solev has brought some revisions including an increase in range, and also the addition of a standard 5-inch center screen as well as an available panoramic sunroof. Our findings remain broadly applicable to this season's Kia Solev. The Solev displays run off the mill electric vehicle driving dynamics. That's disappointing when compared to gas-powered Sol, that's surprisingly adept handling, braking and acceleration. On the other hand, the Solef delivers silent, torqueric power and aggressive regenerative braking. Acceleration Abundant low-end torque helps make the Solef feel sprightly pulling clear of a light, but this eagerness peters out as speeds rise. In testing, a Solef accelerated from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 9.5 seconds, that's behind the best Al electric competitors. Braking in traffic, the Solef's brake pedal isn't particularly responsive or an easy task to modulate. But aggressive regenerative braking is obtainable, and it is usually a boon as soon as you get used to it. The Solef's panic stop distance of 125 feet from 60 miles per hour is all about average for your class. Steering the steering solution is slow without much feedback regardless from the weight dialed in from the driver adjustable steering system. Of normal, comfort and sport settings, sport increases the most normal steering feel. Handling The F isn't surprisingly a keen handle of the regular Solis. The suspension favors comfort, limits are low, and grip is unimpressive. Most of competitors, particularly the Chevrolet Bolt and Hyundai Ioniq Electric, are sharper to operate a vehicle. Drivability Slotting the shifter to be engages aggressive regenerative braking. It feels unusual in the beginning, but you'll quickly discover how to love the auto doing much from the braking available for you, specifically in stop and go traffic. The Solef is otherwise simple and very easy to drive. Comfort Without the gasoline Sol's raspy engine churning beneath the hood, the Solef is really a quiet car to invest time in even using the elevated wind noise brought on by its boxy shape. Ride comfort is average. The seats are commendably comfortable and supportive. Seat comfort The F Plus firm Leather-covered seats through an elevated placement are supportive and comfy during longer drives restricted to range, obviously. They are much better than what you will find in most small cars. Ride comfort The added weight with the batteries, smaller wheels and increased tire sidewall cause an improved ride than the rather jiggly and often harsh ride in the gasoline-powered Soul. Ride comfort is approximately average for that small F segment. Noise and vibration. The sole F's boxy shape creates more wind noise than is usual, and it is exacerbated through the lack of engine noise. You virtually just hear the wind. Still, the insufficient engine noise is welcome. Interior. 
for by far the most part, the Solef's interior is user-friendly. All even so the California only Eve features a likable touch screen that's relatively all too easy to use, too as easy entry and exit. Materials quality just isn't as good as we'd like for that price, but it really is not much of a deal breaker. Is useful. All dashboard controls they fit within easy reach. The large touch screen is usually a model of simplicity due to its audio controls, with big icons and logical menus, but swiping to scroll contact numbers or track lists often brings about errant selections. Getting and jetting out. The seats are put higher than within your average car, making climbing in and sitting yourself down easy. Fears no fall in as with a car or climb up as generally in most SUVs. Fears near perfect steep in height. The wide door openings help at the same time. Roominess. The battery placement enhances the rear floor some inches, reducing rear seat legroom and comfort compared with all the gasoline powered soul. Still, High mounted seats in all of the positions yield good room for just a vehicle in this size. It's somewhat bigger than most subcompact SUVs. Visibility The boxy shape makes it very easy to know the place that the vehicle's corners are. Tall windows increase the risk for view forward clear, but thick rear quarter pillars restrict the cross view while reversing. A rear view camera is standard within the Solif as well as the plus comes with back and front parking sensors. Quality We gave the normal solar greater score with this category for the abundant soft touch points and above the average materials and switch gear. However, it costs much less compared to the EV. The Solif is well built, in the price range, interior quality is a little under per. Utility some EVs suffer a decrease in cargo space because of their extra batteries, however the Solef doesn't. In terms of passenger and cargo room, it lines up more together with the new batch of sub-compact SUVs as opposed to compact hatchbacks. Technology All even so the California on leave comes by having an easy to 8 inch touch screen, remote vehicle controls, Wi-Fi and integrated navigation. Apple CarPlay, Android Auto and wireless charging are not available. Fears one new USB port.